Hello everybody, my name is Mark. Uh, today is Sunday, uh, early in the morning actually, it's uh, approximately 7 o'clock. And today I thought I'm going to talk about the additions that I made to my uh, portfolios. Um, I just decided to add, you already know that I added JEPI, JP Morgan Equity Premium Income. I have right now 34 shares of it at $60. So approximately my total investment with Chase Morgan Bank ETF was in the amount of $2,000, $2,040. That's how much I invested. But I decided to make uh, some more additions to my portfolios uh, to add some new stuff to, you know, to you know, diversify my portfolio further and we will talk about my new edition but before I do I would ask you kindly to subscribe to my channel and uh, when I post a new video you're going to be the first one to be notified about it when you uh, smash that uh, notification bell button uh, and uh, together we can take a journey and our investment journey and it's going to be easier if you do it all together so again if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so right now i really appreciate it and let's come back to our discussion so recently i decided to add a usa fund it's a liberty all-star equity fund i think i already put 600 dollars in there so right now totally i have 80 shares of it as you can see it on the screen at seven dollars and 95 cents so how much did i invest i invested approximately 636 dollars and tomorrow in the morning i will buy another 200 dollars of usa fund usa fund shares uh, so what kind of fund is that and uh, let's just let's just click here it will take us to the dividendinvestor.com and we look at the USA fund it's a Liberty old our equity fund it's gonna give us a dividend information it says here projected 12 month dividend yield is 10.31 percent uh, dividend yield five-year average it's something that I find it to be important on this website it's gonna give us the average how much they pay in the dividend on the average so they, they paid this fund paid 11.50 percent and there is a dividend growth it's giving you growth three-year average dividend growth rate five-year average 11.48 and that's uh, Here's more of the very important information. They pay on a quarterly basis. So the, the, the four dividends. And uh, that's what I found to be most important is that the first dividend was paid actually in 1990. So they have, uh, they pay the dividends regularly for the last 30 years. So that's a very, very, very uh, reliable pair. Total return last five years is 106.55%, which is really good. Total return last three years was 65.03%. Total return last 12 months was 16.78%. So those are the very good indicators. I usually, last time I mentioned that I don't like closed end funds, primarily because of their high expense ratio. I seen the funds uh, they can go up in terms of their expense ratio. They can be closer to three percent, two, three percent, one point. So I think it's really, really high. Uh, I know that those funds are actively managed. Uh, that's why the management would want because they need their money. They need to make their money too. So that's why the expense ratio are kind of high. But I figure that if you buy any ETF from the Vanguard not going to cost you much the expense ratio is going to be quite low in many cases it can be 0.3 percent 0.4 percent this fund usa fund has actually the expense ratio 
of 1.02%. 1.02%, well, it's also on the high side, but it's not as quite as high as some of the closed dead funds uh, percentages that I had seen. Again, they can go up as as, uh, as high as 3% in terms of the expense ratio. And also Liberty, they also have another uh, fund. And we will go and look at it now. It's called ASG, the growth fund. Yeah, it says Liberty All-Star Growth Fund. Uh, they have the projected 12-month dividend yield of 9.12%, which is a bit lower than what we had with USA fund. And uh, again, they pay their dividends regularly since 1993. It's a very reliable pair. Uh, dividend paid in the last 12 months, there were five. So I assume they pay on the quarterly basis and the fifth dividend was just a special a uh, special dividend payment that sometimes they make and uh, you look at the three-year average and five-year average return three-year average is 33.03 percent the five-year average 22.98 percent consecutive dividend increases great for two years and those are very 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 good funds when you look at the total return last five years it was 127.35 percent total return last three years was 72.28 percent total return last 12 months was negative 5.32 percent why you ask it's because they invest a lot of anti and and, and technology company stocks and with the technology right now you know we are experiencing a downfall and that's why the total return last 12 months was a negative one. I think that their portfolio was uh, 22 or 23 percent was devoted to a technology stocks, technology companies. But they all are very good. So the expense ratio for this for ASJ Liberty All Star Growth Fund is 1.11. And USA fund is 1.02. So there is a difference. So that's why I decided to invest in USA fund instead of investing of in ASG fund right now. But in the future, it might change. So I might just uh, add ASG fund to my portfolio right now. So USA fund is going to be added. I expect it. I expect to add more money to that tomorrow again I'm adding two hundred dollars it's gonna be closer to one thousand dollars but at least several thousand dollars is gonna be in that fund as well uh, the expense ratio again is I uh, to my opinion it's on the high side but it's something that I can handle it's 1.02 percent very reliable in my opinion of course you do your own due diligence and research but in my opinion it's a very reliable uh, uh, Payer has been there for like almost 30 years. They pay their dividends, and it's something that I'm willing to invest in in order to diversify my portfolio. And let's look at the upcoming dividends that I'm expecting right now to receive. Something that I like this section, trackyourdividends.com, that I like. Actually, this is not correct. For Stellas SCM Tinker symbol, I receive actually ten dollars and nineteen and ninety cents. Here it says one dollar ninety cents, but I actually received ten dollars. So the next one would be uh, March the first, fifty dollars from Kiroi. Uh, in April the first. April 12th, AGNC, it's a mortgage read. And here is the only upcoming, those are the confirmed dividend payments. 
in upcoming i will need to receive r while d right now upcoming payment it says here 0 0.3 uh march 22nd 0322 in the amount of 138 dollars new and usi uh etf from the insurance company nationwide it's 41 dollars and 82 cents at the end of the month buag uh at the end of the month i expect to receive 36 cents it's a growth vanguard etf sssss zero capital 186 dollars and 47 cents I'm expecting to receive at the end of the month in QYLD and JP in the beginning of next month, April $186 and $12, $12 respectively, and some change. So that would be it. So I'm adding USA fund to my portfolio uh, and uh, Right now, the annual income is closer to $6,000. It's not there yet. Again, I know I need to speed this up. I really appreciate you coming here. Again, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.